What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we have new content in the Universe Sim. It's kind of a circular world building simulator where you go from the caveman ages all the way up through trains, planes, and automobiles. Really, really pleased to announce that today the game has actually released an update that's supposed to be the beginning of its beta. So it's no longer in alpha after a really long, storied, and troublesome past. Universe Sim is finally moving towards its final release in like four or five months from what I understand from the dev post. So anyways, let's dive on into the game. I don't want to waste too much time jabbering along because I know you guys are here for gameplay. So let's start a new life. I would pick up from where we left off the last time we played, but every single time they update, the saves kind of... Well, they don't always break, but sometimes they break, so I would rather just start up new and see what goes. Wake up. Wake up, creator. This is the beginning of your story. It starts with nothing. Nothing but an infinite void. However, you, with a single touch, can awaken the light. It wants me to touch. Should I touch it? Should we touch the weird white ring? Let's do it. Guys, I created an entire universe. So the universe sprang into being. Worlds filled with endless potential were scattered into the beyond. They formed into many different shapes and sizes. And while most were doomed to drift among the cosmos barren and alone, others flourished. These few planets soon became home to the greatest phenomenon of all. However, life is a peculiar thing. It comes and goes as swiftly as a bit of space debris burning up in an atmosphere. A creator's purpose was always that of an observer, to simply admire the fleeting beauty of life's beginnings and ends. Yet, this balance could never last. The issue with allowing a species to evolve independently is that they always fail to do so. For life to have a better chance of succeeding, it needs a helping hand. Ah, here we are. Welcome to Mother Planet. This is a rare sight, for it came to be that there was day and night. Warmth and cold. And water to flow through the planet's veins. The soil was rich with minerals, which gave rise to a thick blanket of green. The perfect ecosystem was formed. It is no wonder, then, why life has chosen to inhabit it. A new species has been born, and they need guidance. This is your purpose now. Their very existence rests in your hands. I've always loved how green and lush and verdant this game is. It's always a very, very good-looking game with regards to the color palette that they chose to use for decorating the planet and whatever. Let's go over to this side, and I saw a big ocean over here. I kind of want to see what we got going on. Yeah, this is the spot right here. This is it. This is the spot. This is where we're going to start our colony. The first thing we need to do is we got to put in our little god tower, the center of our civilization, the epicenter. I will put it right there. Perfect. Yep, evolution tower can be right there Take on that spot. Subjects. <gasps> We've got They're new people. Nuggets, largely because of their body's apparent inability to keep itself in one piece. Adahi and Elu the architects of their species. They are the founders of everything that Nuggets will ever know or achieve. Well, there you go. Adahi and Elu. 
Uh, they do have some things that they can accomplish for right now, although we are somewhat limited in what we can do. So let's go to our evolution tree here, and we'll start moving. This is the entire evolution tree right here. Back when this game first came out a couple years ago, just to put this in perspective so that people know how far the game has come, I think the technologies, like, ended right around shamanism when the game first came out, like, four years ago. Now, you can actually go all the way up into steam power, you can have, like, little Victorian nuggets, then modern nuggets that can go into space with space shuttles and things. Pretty cool stuff. Very, very cool. So anyways, we got to start on some technology. And what could be smarter than a water wheel? So we're going to start off with the water wheel. And then we'll probably go with wells. It's probably a good idea. And then we will more than likely invent fire, too. Because who doesn't love a good little burst of burniness? Other than that, we've also got kaisoning. I don't really know how to say that word. I probably should. I took hydrology. I took geology. I should probably know how to pronounce that word. But you know what? The world is a complicated place. We go with fishing and then water storage next, and that looks like we've got all of our research lined up. This used to be entirely random, actually. When the game first came out, you used to get technologies randomly by kind of the creativity and the intelligence levels of your nuggets. So it was a really good idea for you to educate them all and make them all super smart. They kind of abandoned that idea as the game developed and instead moved into a traditional kind of Civ 5, Civ 6 style tree that you work your way through in order to make stuff happen. Now, we don't really have too much control over the building in this game. We build the main buildings, but all of the domestic buildings, all the home buildings, they're going to be built on their own by the Nuggets. That's one of the reasons why I put us next to a big stone pile, and I also put us next to a big forest, is because even though we're not actively building anything right now, these little dudes are going to want to go out and they're going to want to build homes for themselves, and they're going to have kids, and they're going to want to build a life, and all that kind of stuff, and so it's a good idea to maybe make sure that they have those resources around when you first start your base, because if they don't have them, they're going to they're gonna have to walk a long way. Or even worse than that, you're going to have to stop being a lazy deity and help them with the construction, which frankly is even more haunting. I didn't become omnipowerful so that I could help out with random construction projects, okay? I didn't become an all-powerful, universal god. I didn't create everything in all existence to become a roofer. That is not why I got into this business. I got into this business specifically to avoid situations like that and make everyone else do it. We're going to speed the game up a little bit. Our water wheel is good to go. This is quite a beautiful planet. Try not to ruin it, will you? I'll try. No promises, but I'm going to try. All right, so let's put in the water wheel, yeah? We need a little bit of water. Water is a really, really good idea. Uh, we got to put this next to this water source. Luckily, we have this massive ocean right here. So I don't think we're going to have any water problems anytime soon. Secretary, answer your own messages. There we go. We got ourselves a little building built over here. Every single family in this game will have their own little crest on the door, and they'll have their own little knickknacks and stuff that they like put on the doorway, little decorations and stuff like that. This game leads to some really marvelously wonderful looking cities if you let it grow and do its own thing. They're out here mining and grabbing stone. Looks like he's grabbing wood and then she's grabbing the rocks. I can actually help out with this part right here. So if I do the telekinesis... Uh, we can help out with this construction a little bit if we wanted to. So there's seven oh, stone right here. We can take that, are we? and then we can put it like inside of there, and we can actually help them with the building if it feels like they're taking a little bit too long. And in fact, I do think it's a good idea, although you will want to reserve some god power for yourself. Uh, don't go too crazy using up all your god power. It takes a lot of time at the beginning of the game to regenerate because you don't have a lot of loyal followers yet. So this is your god points up here in the top left. They're going to dictate how you can use your powers. If you wanted to see what we have right now, you do get more later on in the game, but we've got telekinesis, and we've got rejuvenate, and then we've got le cupidon, which allows us to give the gift of... It basically turns us into Cupid, all right? We're allowed to shoot them with love's arrow, and then they will go inside one of the buildings, and they will initiate mutual coital congress. All right, that's the nicest way I could put it. YouTube's a crazy place right now. You got to be careful about the stuff you say and you do. Try to keep it clinical. All right, and so our water pump is up and running this as well. This will serve to guarantee that we don't starve to death or die from a lack of water, which, as you may know, every human being needs. Uh, we will put a well in, like right over here. We'll need to start getting this filled up about as soon as possible. And so the well is a really, really good idea for now. Is there a message over here? Dear Creator, we don't want to sound like we're complaining. But we're having a tough time doing all the work with just the two of us. Is there any way to expand our civilization and bring in a few helping hands? I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that one. 
I sincerely hope there's an easy way of going about this that doesn't involve months of comfort and weird cravings followed by hours of excruciating pain. So they want me to shoot them with the Cupidon power. Production creator. There we go. I couldn't possibly imagine a better couple. Perfect. And so their faith in me has increased. That's good. You want to keep faith on the rise in this game. The higher your faith is, the more energy you're going to generate, which means you can help out with big projects. You can kind of make things work a little bit faster without having to wait for the natural course of events, which honestly, I'm like super impatient, so that works perfectly fine with me. And we've got one constructor on there. Apparently his profile isn't loading right now. It should have a little picture of the nugget right there, but I guess we've got some kind of weirdness happening. I don't know. Maybe it's a hangover from the update earlier today. Come on, get the well done. You guys are going to need to drink soon. It's got 20 output. We'll have to keep an eye on that as time goes along as well. Uh, we did get access to fishing, which I believe is in one of these tabs here. Fishing, are you around anywhere? Fishy wishies? Oh, fishing's not done yet. Okay. I thought fishing was already concluded. Never mind. Continue researching our ability to dunk strings in water until we catch weird little fishies. And so there you go. The hut is a rockin' right now. They're getting down to business to defeat the Huns and all that kind of fun stuff. A little kid will be running around right after they get finished off. And then our society will grow. There's going to be a lot of inbreeding at the beginning of this situation. You're just going to have to understand that everybody's going to walk around with like weird rosacea spots and like a forehead that extends further out than their nose does. It's kind of the natural process of things when you only have two human beings. All right. Don't get too attached, though. They're still mortal after all. Plus, they will soon be old enough to have an opinion and make questionable life decisions. Let's see how much you like them then. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, I make questionable life decisions all the time, so I can fully understand where we're coming from there. Life would be so much easier as a god if people just, you know, did everything I told them and never diverted from the plan. Consider me the yogurt. That's all you need to do. The yogurt knows. The yogurt protects. The yogurt is here for you. And if you do not accept the yogurt's loving graces, then the yogurt will leave you. Because that's obviously what a loving, caring god does. We're struggling to agree on names for our little ones. We want to call them something trivial, like stick and stone, and I'm about to break his bones. I suggested more appropriate names, but he believes I'm trying too hard. Can you help us settle the argument? So they want us to name the little kids? Alright. Let's call them something silly. This one's name is Stone. We will call this one Amaranth. That's my go-to lady name. And then we will call this one over here, Dave. Perfect. We've renamed everybody, and faith in us has increased. Include the need for certain essentials like food and water, a stable roof over their heads, and an occasional nap. They want to learn, build, discover, and create. It would all be quite inspirational if they also didn't happen to be the species that initially thought their shadows were trying to eat them. Oh my, I do hope you've taught Nuggets how to swim. Yeah, they've, uh, this guy, the narrator in the background, he will more than likely never stop talking. Just be aware of that. He's a very, very talkative dude. Uh, we can take this over here. Let me just chuck that into there to help out. That'll add a little bit more substructure to the whole thing. So you a tree. There we go. Now what? Oh, we need like 10 more wood? Alright. I'm not helping very much here, am I? I'm trying my damnedest. Like, I am going out of my way right now to help out with this construction and make it go faster, but it takes a lot of materials. We gotta stack all kinds of wood on that thing. I like that we've already invented, like, tarps. Like, we've clearly invented tarps that are also striped for, like, caution or whatever, but at the same time, we're still building the infrastructure of an ancient society out of, like, twigs and rocks. Like, where did we get the complex polymer and plastic manufacturing information to get that done? Did I give it to you on accident? I was supposed to withhold that for a couple thousand years, but I must have left my I must have left my email open or something like that, and one of them just cruised on by me like, oh, that's how you arrange complex molecular structures. <laughs> I was wondering about that in my last 32 hours of existence. I was very curious. Oh, wow, he's fully grown already? Man, Dave grew up quick. 
Dude, are you gonna marry your sister? You're gonna marry your sister, huh? Please don't marry your sister. I would really, really like it if you would not marry your sister, but I bet you're gonna marry your sister. It's just gonna be all around disappointing, isn't it? Oh, man. All right, well, the fishing pier is done. Hopefully, Dave can go out and just get us some fish because we are going to need food in order to make it through the winter. This game kind of gives you a pass for the first year. So the first year or so, you shouldn't have too many problems. Things should go reasonably well. However, as you get further into the game, you are going to have to start, like, building things, infrastructure, food production, and all that kind of stuff. Otherwise, things are not going to work out great. Uh, we can get the primitive cooking, which gives us the eatery where they can cook food and make it more pleasurable to keep the nuggets extra happy. We've got woodlined reservoirs right here to give us a reservoir upgrade. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll get the well right there. And then we can't get water flow study for a while. I've we can get primitive cooking. Who actually does the research around here? We need material refinement to get to there. And so we'll do the older one toolkit after that. And then people are going to start getting sick. I think they give you like a year before anybody can actually get sick. There's some kind of internal timer in the game that dictates an X amount of time at the beginning of a playthrough where sickness cannot happen. Same thing happens in RimWorld. Uh, shamanism is what they expect you to research before you hit that critical juncture where people start getting sick and spreading plague. And so if you don't have a shaman by then, you should be fully prepared for a societal collapse. It will be like the end of your game and you'll have to start over. The diseases in this game are nasty, they are gnarly, they are unpleasant, and they will take you out. Have no doubt. At least they were the last time I played the game. It was actually a really big, tangible concern that you wanted to get on top of before it snowballed out of control. There's only like three or four things in this game that you really need to prep for before you get to them. And you need to have pre-existent knowledge before you get there, and shamanism is one of them. So make sure like you research shamanism within like the first year or so. It's probably a really, really good idea. Just to make sure that you stay safe. Water storage is done. Very nice. These little splash frames that they give you up here whenever you research a new technology, they remind me of like the festivals and stuff in Far Cry 4 where there's just like that multicolored powder everywhere and everything. Oh, it's a really cool look. I like that kind of phasing from one color to another in like an explosive powder type deal. It's very pleasing to the eye. So we do have a new structure over here. We can build ourselves a reservoir. I would recommend that you do that because water does not flow in the winter time. Something to think about is that like when when winter comes around, all of the water sources in this game freeze. Sometimes up to and including your reservoirs depending on how cold it gets. And so anyways, it's a really, really good idea for you to go through and build a few water storage mediums. I usually like to build like two of them. You'll know when you need more because if you mouse over it during the winter time and the meter seems like it's rapidly dipping downwards, it's a pretty clear indicator in my opinion. Uh, we've got lots of construction jobs to get done, so we might as well, like, let's throw this guy over here too. We'll put these right next to each other. And we'll kind of develop to the left right now. I think with this stone pile, we're supposed to use this for a quarry later on. It is going to be a little bit awkward making that work for us, but I think I can bulldoze this at some point. What does that do? Open the hut interior? Oh, cool. That's new. Nice. So, like, there's actually... There's actually like an inside to the hut now. They've got little lamps made out of stone. They've got themselves like some kind of LCD TV that they've built out of the wall. I was making a joke about it being a window. I feel like that might have been... <laughs> we maybe, maybe we jumped the gun explaining the punchline there. But anyways, yeah, I think this right here is going to be for a stone quarry. And given the biome that we started out in, we may actually have trouble getting stone as we get further on into the game. It looks to me like the closest quarry area is like maybe over here or something. And so it might be a really, really good idea to save that. I was going to build over the top of it with other buildings. But I think instead what we'll do is we'll just build to the left. We'll leave this here and this will be the edge of our city once we're fully deployed and ready to rock. We're not really expanding our nuggets very quickly, are we? I would like to expand a little bit quicker. I wonder if they raised the necessity... There. That message looked All better. Important. I used my god powers to make brother fall in love with sister. So apparently, I am the creator of 90% of Pornhub's content. Uh, dear creator, I heard that you have the power to create miracles. I've been trying to build a hut for Dave and myself this to live in, but I've thrown my back lazy. out. Okay. 
So they want me to go through and help them you build a hut. Too kind for this world creator. Oh, the hut's well, over here. I There's not a lot that I can do with that. Your powers while that nugget lays in a hammock sipping a mojito. There you go. Have we even invented mojitos yet? I don't know if we've invented mojitos yet. I, I feel like for him to sit back, be lazy, and drink a mojito would require us to have invented mojitos. Help Dave finish the hut. I will as soon as I get some god power back. I just need like a little more god power. I need like one more point, and then I'll be ready to roll. I don't think they're actively going to build that thing. Yeah, make me Let's more children. Don't overreact to the falling leaves this year. Yeah, just get what it done. I need more people. At? Nothing. I'm waiting for my god powers to come back. I swear. There we go. So faith has increased. We always need more faith. I just need this number to go up much faster. Later on, you'll actually be able to like visually watch it. You'll be able to, hey, stop that. Yeah, stop that. I want that message to go away. That message just keeps popping up. It's irritating. I'm like, hey, have you heard that you finished your quest? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm quite sure since I did the quest that I am aware of its completion. Thank you. Oh, they added in little paths too. Sweet, man. Every time I play this game, there's a bunch of new stuff in it that they've added, like the interiors to the houses. Now they're making little trails, kind of foundation style. I don't know if they used to do that. I know that foundation, that's one of the big things, is that they make their own trails and they actually erode the terrain as they walk around and stuff like that. And so anyways, maybe they took inspiration for that or maybe it was a planned feature. I don't really know, but I don't remember the trails being in the game the last time I played it either. That'll be nice, though, because it'll add some semblance of structure to, like, our entire society. So as you can see right here, the reservoirs are going to fill up over time from the pumps. These fill up incrementally, or I guess iteratively. So the closest one to the reservoir will fill up first, and then that one will fill up. They don't fill up simultaneously. So this thing has 20 pull. It won't put, like, 10 in here and 10 in here. It'll put the whole 20 inside of here. And then once this is done, it'll pop the 20 inside of there. Just so you know how that all functions. And it looks like we've got some new kids running around. What we've got some love happening. See exactly? Nothing. I was just I was taking a look because, like you guys said, let's go ahead and upgrade the well. It needs a little bit more water storage. They're going to go through two units of water pretty quickly. So I'd like to see that up to like four, five, six. Everything in this game is like a slow burn. So you're not going to get like straight upgrades to take things from like a stone well to a wood well to a steel well or whatever else. Essentially how it works is every single time you go through the tech tree, you're going to unlock certain technologies that will increase an upgrade for this thing and that will increase its capacity oh, by like I one. Like and so there will be a research that, that makes it so How that the output of the water pump is like 10% higher or like your fish acquisition. Oh, I go to assign somebody? Oh, put Dave I on it. Dave, go be a fisherman. Would rise to greatness. Well, before their career Thank plateaus, you, David. I appreciate that. Manager or something. I appreciate that, David. Just get on down in here, drink some water, and then go find us some fish because I think winter is going to be coming pretty soon and the extra food supply would be greatly appreciated. It looks like we have another building that we're able to make as well. We've got the eatery. We don't really have anybody to assign to work at the eatery until our society gets a little bit bigger and a little bit more better. Uh, there is a wolf over here. He may try to eat one of our civilians. I'm going to wolf murder him real fast. There we go. I murdered the wolf. We're good to go. All you got to do is pick him up and drop him. Who knew? They were so fragile. You just rocket that wolf up into the stratosphere and then just, like, release him and watch him burn up in Atmo. Leave a nice big blood splat over there with incredible violence for some reason. The rest of the game, super cutesy, giant-headed cavemen trying to survive. You kill animals, blood everywhere. I compliment you on your fantastic new ice sculptures. But then I realized those were just frozen nuggets. Yep, we don't have ice sculptures right now. That's one of my favorite bits from The Office is when Michael wants Andy to go find an ice sculpture and he comes back with it for like, I don't remember if it was for the Christmas party or what it was, and then it does that jump cut to like his talking head and he's like, I stole it. <laughs> like That's probably, that's one of my more favorite lines in The Office just because Andy doesn't seem like the kind of guy to steal stuff. I don't know if we have any other Office fans inside the inside the Nerd Castle. I probably rewatch The Office like three to four times a year it may be my favorite show of all time. So anyways, this is the universe sim. We're off to a nuggets pretty good start right now. We've got a couple of nuggets. Big enough to fit the water pumps. As a result, they've frozen solid. Yeah, that's now why I was trying to get that done quick. Somewhere, creator. We do indeed, and it looks like we have enough of a surplus for the entire winter, so it should be all right. 
We should be good here. I can't really help out with construction too much. What is that? What is this? What has happened here? Why do we have a monolithic meat grinder? What is that thing for? That's super new. They will either fear you or love you. Both ways have pros and cons. Oh my god. So can I feed them to a meat grinder if I wanted to be a god of fear? It appears as though they're expanding out the morality system of the game. to pass out eviction notices. You look a little confused. Don't worry, I expected as much. Apparently we need building maintenance. We're missing out on that. That'll give us the engineer's hut, though. We'll also go with the storage area. We'll go with grass weaving so that they have clothing. And we'll go with burials because inevitably somebody's going to die. And one uncovered dead body in this game can get you into a massive amount of trouble with the spread of disease. So my name is Splattercat. Thank you for standing on by me while we play the Universe Sim today. A game that continues to rapidly update and just be a cool little universal god sim city builder. I hope you guys have enjoyed this stay. We check back in on this game probably about once a year because the development for a while was pretty slow and it made me skittish about covering it too frequently. But it seems like the developers over at Crytivo really hit their stride about a year ago and that's when they really started to just dump out updates every month or so that were actually pretty content dense. I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie gaming every single day so you don't have to. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate. Leave a like on it. It helps me out as a content creator. And aside from that, I will see you all tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the skillet. Goodbye.